Hello everyone and welcome to another cloudy little tutorial. Today we are going to be making this super spooky eyeball hat. Let's get started. The supplies you will need today are all these yarns are a size 4 worsted weight. We're going to need black for the pupil. We're going to want whatever color you want for the iris of your eye. I chose blue. You're going to need white for the whites of your eye, and you're going to need whatever color you want your main hat to be. I chose beige. If you want to embroider the veins on the eye, you're going to need some red embroidery thread and an embroidery needle that fits that thread. You're also going to want a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to start with a magic ring using our black yarn. Alternatively, you could chain two and work into the first chain, but I prefer to use a magic ring. Now, this is the method that I make a magic ring. I think it's more secure and there will be a video linked below. I But you can use whatever magic ring you want. So I just grab it with my two fingers like that. I loop it around twice. And then I come with my crochet hook, I stick it over these, under these two loops. I grab the third loop and pull it through. And then I just chain one to lock it in place. So when we work through this, we're going to work around both the loops we made and the tail. So we're going to chain two to start our round. The chain two does not count as a stitch and it won't for the rest of this pattern. Work 10 double crochets into the ring. So like I said, we're working around both the loops and the tail. To do a double crochet, we yarn over, we go into our loop, we yarn over, pull through, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. It's a standard double crochet. So that's yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So just continue that for 10 double crochets and I'll meet you when we're done. Now that we have our 10 double crochets, we're going to tighten our loop. So for this method of a magic ring, uh, how we're going to tighten it, we need to grab our tail first. So grab our tail, pull that, but not all the way tight. Okay, so just pull it until it starts to tighten one of the rings. You'll see one of the loops you have there is going to tighten and the other one isn't. So you see that one's still loose. We're going to want to take the one that tightened. We're going to want to pull it from the place that our tail is coming out of. So on the top. You're going to pull that until it pulls the other ring completely tight. Then you're going to pull your tail, pull it totally tight. And that's going to just pull up our stitches nice and tight. This method of a magic ring has never loosened up for me, even after a long amount of time. We're going to slip stitch to close our round here. So we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch of that round. Now we're going to chain two to start our next round. And we're going to want to do a double crochet increase in every single stitch. So two double crochets in each stitch around. You're going to have a total of 20 stitches for this round. Now that we've finished that round, we should have 20 stitches total. We're going to slip stitch to end our round, and then we're going to tie off with the black. We have now completed the pupil part of our eye. 
We're now going to attach whatever color you chose for the iris of your eye. I chose blue. Attach the yarn in whatever you method you like. Um, I usually just make a slip knot um, and then put my hook through the stitch that I'm attaching it to. And just grab that loop, pull it through, and kind of just make a chain and that'll, that'll lock it on. One tip, make sure you attach your yarn so that you work in the same direction you were working. So keep the side that was facing you facing you the whole time. A good way to tell is your tail from when you tie it off and when you started will be on the back. So chain two to start this round. For this round, we're gonna do one double crochet in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So we're gonna repeat this pattern around the entire round. It'll be one double crochet and then a double crochet increase and just keep repeating that. By the end of your round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm just crocheting around my loose ends. You don't have to do this, you can just wait and tie them in once you've finished your project, but I personally hate tying in my loose ends once a project is done. So anytime I can, I just crochet around them and it ties them in nice and secure so you don't have to worry about it once you finish your project. As always, we're going to slip stitch to join our round chain up two to start and now you can see it's starting to look like an eye here so now what we're gonna do is double crochet two then do a double crochet increase so one double crochet in this stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets into that third stitch there. You should end this round with 40 stitches total. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around. So that's one double crochet, one double crochet, and then a double crochet increase. Continue that around until we finish our round. Now that we've finished this row, we're going to slip stitch to join and we're going to tie off our blue yarn because we are now done with the iris of our eyeball. After we tie off, we're going to join on the white. Here we are attaching our white yarn the same way we did before. You can attach your yarn however you're most comfortable doing it. We're gonna chain two. Now we're gonna do three double crochets and then a double crochet increase for this round. And just like usual, we're gonna repeat that around. We're gonna have 50 stitches once we finish this row. I'll show you again. We are just going to do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then we are going to do a double crochet increase. So two double crochets in the same stitch. Just complete that pattern around and we should have 50 stitches total once we reach the end. Okay, for this round, we're gonna, of course, slip stitch to join our last round. We're gonna chain up two. Now, this row, we're gonna be doing four double crochets and then a double crochet increase. 
and we're going to repeat that around. We should have 60 stitches once we have completed this round. So here we are just doing our stitches. There's our increase. So just to show you again, we're doing one double crochet. One double crochet. One double crochet. One more double crochet. And then we are doing two double crochets in the same stitch. There's our increase. So just continue that around until you reach the end of the row. We're going to slip stitch to join our round. And this is our final round of white and our final round of increases. So we're going to chain up two and we're going to do five double crochets and then a double crochet increase. We're going to repeat this around the entire row and we should have 70 stitches total once we're done. So we did one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and one last double crochet. Then we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's five double crochets and then a double crochet increase. Just finish that, repeat it around the entire row, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, you're going to slip stitch and tie off with your white yarn. We have now finished our eye. Look at that, you can really see it. We have completed all of our increase rounds, so for the remainder of this pattern, you're going to have 70 stitches in each round until we get really close to the end and we do a decrease round. So, now we're going to attach our black yarn again but we're going to attach it in the front loop only. So attach it the same way as you did before, but just do it instead of going under both loops like you normally would, just do it in the front loop only. So here we are attaching it, just the same as we always do, just in the front loop only instead of both our loops. So this is our only round where attaching the yarn is going to count as our first stitch because it kind of makes a little slip stitch look in there anyways. So working in the front loop only for this entire round, we are going to slip stitch around. So that is one slip stitch in the front loop only of every stitch around. It's going to leave you with 70 stitches. Just continue this around. It's going to tighten up a little bit. Slip stitches are smaller than regular stitches, so it's going to start to curve. That's totally fine. That's what we want. So just continue that around until you finish. Once you've finished, slip stitch to your first uh, stitch there of the round and tie off. Now it should be curved kind of like a little bowl here. This is what you want, okay? So now we are going to attach our uh, main hat color. I'm using beige here as you can see. So we're going to attach it same as we always do, except for this time we are working into the back loop of our slip stitch round. So we're gonna work this round into the back loop only of our slip stitch round. So we chain two to start, working in the back loop only, we're going to double crochet around. Just one double crochet in every stitch around, that's going to leave us with 70 stitches. It might be a little fiddly to work into the back loop of the slip stitch round, but 
you'll get through it. Just continue around the back loop. Uh, it's really important that that's what we work into to get the shape that we want. Um, and it's going to give our eyeball this really cool, like, three-dimensional shape. Like, it's coming off of the hat. You'll see at the end here. So just continue that around. You should have 70 stitches once we're done. And that's about it. I'll show you what to do next. We're going to slip stitch to join. And then we're going to have a nice, simple stretch. So you can really see here, it's getting that nice eyeball shape. It's so like three dimensional. It's like there's an eyeball like actually attached to your hat here. I love it. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to double crochet around. We're going to have 70 stitches. We're going to repeat this for eight more rounds after this. So after we've finished this round, you're going to do eight more rounds of the same exact thing. You're going to chain two to start, double crochet around, you'll have 70 stitches. We're going to slip stitch to join our round, and then we're going to do it all over again. Here I have finished all of my rounds, and now we're going to do that decrease round that I told you about. So we are going to chain two to start. And then instead of just doing a regular double crochet, we're going to do a double crochet decrease. So this is how I like to decrease. You can do it in whatever method you want. But so we're going to yarn over, go through our first stitch, yarn over, pull through. We're going to have three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two of those loops. Now don't pull through the last two loops. We're going to leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over again, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is how I like to do my double crochet decreases. I have a video further explaining that if you need help linked in the description. Now we're going to do 33 double crochets. So it's honestly, I don't count when I do this. Um, you can do it at the halfway mark. Um, it doesn't have to be like exactly at the halfway mark. I just fold it in half like this. And when it gets about halfway, that's when I'm like, okay, time for a uh, decrease. So here I am about halfway down. You can count it if you want to. Um, I don't feel the need to because it doesn't need to be exact. And then I just do another double crochet decrease. So we yarn over, go through our first stitch, yarn over, pull through two. We have two chain, two loops on the hook. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And then we're just going to finish out our round by doing a double crochet in every row and slip stitch to end. This row is going to have 68 stitches total. Okay, it is time to do the cuff of our hat. We are almost finished making the hat itself. So we're going to chain two to start our round. And remember how we did a decrease? It made what looked like two posts and just one stitch to work into well we're just going to go around both of those posts so just for the decreases we're going to go around both of those little posts that the decrease made because it counts as one stitch so we're going to do one back post double crochet and then one front post double crochet we're going to repeat that around the entire round so we're going to end the round with 68 stitches total. So if you need more instructions on how to do back post and front post stitches, I have a tutorial linked in the description along with a tutorial for every uh, stitch and technique that we used in this entire tutorial. So if you have any trouble with this or you need further explanation, 
just check out that link. So we're just gonna go back and forth. See, we're doing a back post here. So you kind of just go around the back. We're not gonna work in the stitch like normal. We're gonna go around the back. Just go over the post part of the stitch, pull through, work our stitch like normal. Then we're gonna go around the front, go around the back of the stitch, pull it through, work our stitch like normal. So just continue that around, one back post, one front post, all the way around until you've reached the end of the round and you should have 68 stitches. Okay, we're going to slip stitch to join. Like always, you're gonna slip stitch to join each round. You're gonna chain two to start each round. And then we are going to do the same thing we did last round. We're gonna do one back post double crochet and then one front post double crochet and we're just gonna repeat that around for the entire round. So we're gonna repeat this for four more rounds after this, okay? Four more rows of just back post and front post. So you're gonna be doing your back posts into the back posts from your previous round and you're going to be doing your front posts into the front posts of your previous round. So you're just going to keep going the same way until we finish up. Okay here we are. Um, we have completed everything on this hat except for you know tying up our loose ends and uh, the embroidery we need to do. So Here's what the hat looks like. You can fold up the cuff here if you want it to fit a little tighter on your head. Um, or you can fold down the cuff to make it a little slouchier, depending on how you want to wear it. So it's really versatile. It fits most heads really well and works for a lot of styles. Um, you can see our eye here has such a great like 3D effect. Um, it really like pops off of the hat. Um, so your hat is pretty much done. If you want to leave it here, you can tie off your loose ends and your hat is done. If you want to take it a step further and make it look really eye-like and a little bit creepy, you're going to take your red embroidery thread. Here is what it looks like once it's been embroidered. Now, I am linking below another tutorial to embroider the eyes. Um, quite frankly, because if I put it in here, the video would be too long for my internet to handle uploading. So if you don't watch the additional video, if you're experienced with embroidery and you just want to go for it yourself, um, I'll just give you a few tips. So if you look at how the veins go here to make them look like, um, you know, real eye veins, you're going to want to start at one central point on the outer ring of the the eye. As you move forwards towards the pupil, you're going to want it to branch out. You want to make them really branchy and expanding. Um, and that's, that's really all there is to it. I have a full tutorial linked in the description below on how to embroider these yourself. Um, so I really hope you check that out and it helps. Well, we finished our hat. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this.